Hey everybody, welcome back. It is me, David from Atomic Candy, and Hi. Lady Pop Hunter is here. And of course, we are piled up with packages yet again. So mm -hmm. I know, huh? We're gonna go ahead and share that with you, and we're gonna cut into these packages and see what we have. And we're gonna start off with that one. I know I didn't order nothing from oh, Target. No. Well, I think somebody might have just reused the box because it looks yeah. like it's been retaped hopefully it's all right because you know you can see that there's it's yeah, a little, little rough. old box yeah it's a it's a reused box so yeah. it's a little rough hopefully everything is kosher it look like they well they it. made a feeble attempt what is this no, no. Are you sure? it's a it's a dry <laughs> cleaning. yeah look at this what are you doing <laughs> It's a dry cleaning bag. This is somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah, they tried. Yeah. You got to give them that. Yeah. <laughs> Trying only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. That looks like a... Looks oh, like... yeah. Oh, yeah. What did you do here? What is this? I got that evil in. That's oh, not that's evil in. That is... A classic Tila mm -hmm. mint on that the card. original card. It looks like it's in good shape. The bubble looks pretty clear. And it comes the with a protective tab is case. missing, but you know, that's that's not bad. Yeah. And this is a 1983 edition. Mm-hmm. Because you looks know there's good. a there's an 82 and an 83. And the difference is that this one has a 12 back card. Because there's 12 people pictured as opposed to the uh, more simple card for the 1982 edition of Teal. I didn't know you ordered this. Yeah. A you know, after um, I didn't, well, I thought I wasn't going to get that other one. I told you I was going to get that Evelyn. Yeah. But then I ended up getting the. Getting Tila. Tila, the girl that nobody likes. Yeah. Especially Everybody. in that 200X. Oh, oh wow. God. She was annoying. She was wasn't even she? worse. She was yeah. bad on the original, but 200X, you just wanted her to get killed. Oh, wow. You didn't. You know, she's you, a, but she's a warrior goddess. It says so right there. Yeah. Here sure you go. She is. Wow, this is nice. This is a That's very a pretty nice decent card. card, and the bubble is pretty clear. Yeah. Because, you know, a lot of those, they turn yellow. Yeah, they do. So that came pretty quick. Yeah. Go ahead. And, it must have been that far. Maybe. Let's go ahead and peel this open. I'm glad it was in that clamshell because that packing was kind of weird. Yeah. Well, on the picture, it showed the clamshell, so that's good. Yeah. And I like that. Now I don't have to get a clamshell. Come on. Watch your hand. Then nice. Yeah. Oh, I know why. Because it's got... Uh... Yeah. It's all glued. Uh-huh. That's the evil in. Oh, my gosh. So you have to... Well, he crammed that in there. Hopefully it didn't cause any buckling. Don't look like it. Because it's in a plastic case. It's a slight yellow, but it's not bad. Yeah, and it's got a damaged corner. That corner is pretty weak. Did yeah. you know that? Mm hmm. I had saw okay. that, but I'm gonna flatten that out because if you flatten it out, it'll uh it'll be okay. Yeah. This ain't bad. I can I can live with that. That that's a nice and clean this is back. A, this one is uh well it says 82, but it's still a 12 back. It's pretty clean on the back of the card though. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. And, of course, you know, Lady Pop Hunter is a big fan of Masters of the Universe, classic and modern. Yeah. Evil Lynn. Evil warrior goddess. Evil <laughs> warrior goddess. Evelyn. Evelyn. Yeah, that was her original name. Mm, I think Evelyn Jones or something. I can't remember. No, it wasn't Jones. It was something simple. She yeah. had a simple name because her dad was the uh, what faceless one. Faceless one. That's correct. Okay, let's clear that away and get the next one. Okay. And of course, there's always more. I know. And I went ahead and I got this one cracked open. And you can go ahead and take that out because I know that's yours. <laughs> I know I'm the only one that gets pops. And I'm starting to get my um, pre orders in that I ordered way back when. Okay, the Popeye. Wow, that actually looks pretty good if you can see it. I don't know how well you can see that paint job, but the that, paint job actually looks there. pretty good. I'm I'm pretty shocked. Uh, I'm actually shocked because Funko doesn't do that great a job, but even his face mold 
It's yeah, they've nice. been kind of screwing it up. I noticed that with the Care Bears too. Looking at the Care Bears close yeah. up recently, and mm -hmm. the paint wasn't that great. Yeah, but they actually did a good job on this Popeye. I'm shocked. Is the actual? Well, that still looks like the '80s version of Popeye. It's still not that classic. Yeah, but still. But know, it's still nostalgic. Of, I like that one. Uh, the old, the old version, and he got his can of spinach and his um pipe. So I, that's pretty good. I wonder if they're gonna do any more of it. Well, they got the license. Yep. And here we'll do another one. I know this one is yours. Yeah. Entertainment Earth. You know what this is too. Yeah, it's the um Emerald City Comic Con. I don't know why it's just coming now. Well, yeah, Emerald City Comic Con was March seventeenth through the twentieth, I think. Right, and it's April twenty fifth. Yeah, so it's like so, they're just sending it out. They're just they only just got them. Yeah, I know. I, it's not Entertainment Earth. It's just like okay, Funko, you had these things, you had store releases, but this year it's been all screwed up with the Care Bears, the uh, that Superman lady, and all kinds of stuff was all screwed up with this year's Comic Con. Yeah, the releases. It's <coughs> over a month for Entertainment Earth to even get their item. Yeah. Yeah. And there they are. Yep. The vinyl two pack of Beast Man and Sorceress, even though it says Beast Man on the left and Sorceress on the right. I know. Why did it flip that around? I, I don't know. Maybe they're in the. No, the the molds are correct for them. I guess. I guess that's just a designing error, because it should be the other way around. Is 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 not thought out like everything no. else? No. Twenty five hundred pieces, limited edition. Mm -hmm. It's in. Good shape. It yeah. doesn't look like it's been banged up And that was an Entertainment Earth, ex not exclusive, but that one went to Entertainment Earth. Yeah, the shared exclusive to Entertainment Earth. Yeah, and as you guys know from watching the videos, I have grown to like those vinyls. Yeah. Um, they grow on you. So I get the ones for the um series that I collect. So I do have quite a few. Yeah, of she's the all in the masters. Yeah. There you go. And we'll move along. All right, let's get going here with another one. And that one is for you. Mm. Everything's for you. I know. What's up with you? One day you're going to get something. I know. You're going to have a big haul. Yeah. But you have. And there have been days where you got stuff and I didn't. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. When was that? A while back. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in the not too distant future, you might get something. In the not too distant future. Somewhere in time, Somewhere in time and space. I know. Oops. Bumping the camera here. Come on, let go. And there it is. Oh, let me grab that because it's an address label. And somebody went to the public restroom. There's <laughs> a lot of mismatched paper. Uh, goodness. What did he do? He put it Nothing in saran wrap. In saran wrap. Saran this is, of wrap. course, is the original Battle Armor Skeletor with Panthro 2 pack. You want Panthor. Pan Panthor is Pan the Thundercase. Yeah, you're right. I don't know what I'm saying. Mm. I'm going to get him out of this. He's, I think he's suffocating. Let me see if I yeah. which one I'm gonna I'm just gonna cut it. It was eleven dollars and ninety nine cent at yeah. some point in Let me time. Feel that. See, at Toy Plus. You know what? When it's a vintage item like that, I don't mind the price tag still being on it as long as the price tag isn't huge. I think I've talked about that before. Yeah. Like the uh Clarence price tags that they used to put on some of that stuff when it's like two by three inches in size and it just ruins everything. Oh, uh, the card looks good. Yeah, so far it looks pretty good. It's not bent. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a huge plus. Mm -hmm. But um, Panther. if it's just a small price tag like that, I don't mind that. Mm -hmm. Got a little dent here, but that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's like scuffing. 
I can that, find something to put it in. That box art is really nice. They did do good artwork. Back yeah, they then. did. Um, toys today, they just stuff it in something. But And that's not as yellow as it looks. It's yeah. the light. It's the lighting on this. And Skeletor has fallen forward a little bit. But that is something that can be fixed because the one flap is open a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we can get in there and, and fix that. And that is some really nice artwork. artwork. Yeah. And we'll take a look That's at that. That's when they took time. Yeah. They took just as much time on the packing than they did on the uh, figure. Let's look at the but back nowadays, here. they don't. This has a lot of the play sets. Now, I'm not into the play sets. But you'll and take I'm them. Not, <laughs> and I'm really not into the vehicles. Uh huh. But, um, you know, like Battle Cat, Panther. Those things I'm I'm into, oh, but I'm not a big Strider. well. I, yeah, I got Strider. She I, has the horses. I do have that because they the were given to me. Who um, gave you those? You. Oh, I must be but, so um, nice. I'm not into the play sets and so much of the vehicles. I do have uh, two vehicles from the 200X series. And the only reason why I got that because I picked it up. And I was going to put it back, and the guy, I guess he thought I was haggling. Yeah, this was at a toy store. Yeah, but I really didn't want it. And he dropped the price all the way down to $10 each. <laughs> so I was like. <laughs> From like 25 He yeah. kept going down, well, you know, because she was getting a bunch of figures. Mm -hmm. So he kept trying to sweeten the deal. Yeah, but I really didn't want it because when I picked it up, you know, it was the box art. And it showed the vehicles, and it showed um one was He-Man and one was Skeletor. And then I was like, oh, yeah, that'll be cool. But then I realized, whoa, the figures are not actually in there, so I don't want it. And that guy thought I I was trying to haggle, so I ended up getting them for $10 each, so I paid $20. And that's her luck. And you know she paid about half of the actual retail on this, too. Yeah, I won this in a uh, bidding. Because she's bidding amazing. Wall. Well, so I got somebody that knows how to do eBay auctions. I I don't. Who and knows how to do eBay auctions? You. Oh. You always win them. <laughs> I don't know how to do all that, so I just don't. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay. Here you go. Now this one, one I already cut. I went ahead and cut it anyway because this came from NECA. Oh yeah. Yeah, and after what happened to Michelangelo, I was paranoid. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, reach in there and see what it is. Probably that Godzilla you've been wanting. Yep. Wait, did you get it from the Walmart site? No, no, this came directly from oh, NECA. Oh, see, mine came from the Walmart site. Through ne well, from NECA, NECA through Walmart. Yeah. yeah. And this is the burning Godzilla. That's the last one. Godzilla you versus Destroya. The only one that I don't have from this series is actually the. Uh, Godzilla 2016 one, which came in two sizes. One that was exactly like this in this kind of packaging, and then there's like a 16-inch version. Oh, wow. I bet you that's nice. Yeah. So those are the only ones I'm missing. The The one that's in a package this size isn't that hard to find. They, they used to sell it at Toys R Us when they were open. Yeah. That's where you got the majority of them from. Yeah, I got a bunch of them at Toys R Us. So if that other one turns up at Toys R Us, I'll probably nail it there, but... This one was sold out and then became available again from NECA, so I went ahead and, and grabbed it. And we have an envelope. Mm. Just carefully, I got the corner torn, so I'll just carefully split the rest of that. Here, take a look at that one. Steve Travis. Outstanding rookie. No, no, no. Bob Backlund. That is my favorite wrestler. I know. Oh, man. And that is the June 4th, 1979 wrestling promo so, oh man signed by bob 
Oh, man. Hold on. Let me watch that tape. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Careful. See, it says uh, he's got his autograph yeah. on the cover. Best wishes, Bob Backlund. <laughs> Greg Valentine. Yeah. Oh, man. But, yeah, this is one of those magazines great. they used to sell at the events. And there's Bob. Bob yeah. Backlund's New Challengers. Man. I love I don't know who I like more, Bob Backlund or the Undertaker. I love them. <laughs> I love them both. Oh, and then the person went, so he wrote on there. Yeah, he checked them off in order of when they came out. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy Valent. Yeah. Johnny Valent. Jerry Valent. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Nikolai Volkov and Hussein the Arab. That was before. I think that's uh, Iron Sheik before he was Iron Sheik. Oh, okay. Ted yeah. DiBiase. Yeah. The Million Dollar Man. Gorilla Monsoon. Bob Backlund. Tito Santana. Versus Battle Royal winner Hussein. Oh, okay. He 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 did. Uh, he fought the Iron Sheik. Yep. Oh man, this is amazing. I got to get this framed. <laughs> Bob Backlund. Bob Backlund. That's Ted DiBiase? God. Yep. Look at him. Yeah, let's put he him looked good, so better as a million dollar man. There's uh, old Ted. Oh. Or young Ted, I guess you could say. He looked old. He looked better as the million dollar man. Yeah. This and is great. Greg Valentine black and white poster there at the end. Uh -huh. This is wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. I had to put that away. Yep, WWF. WWF. That's what I remember. <laughs> they didn't have that uh, altercation. Yep. Okay, next. I've got a big flat box. It says fragile glass, and yeah. this was addressed to you. Yeah, I know what it is. It's a uh -huh. box. Um, yeah, tell the story. If you remember from the last unboxing, I had got a NECA um, quarter scale Ninja Turtle, and it came wrecked in the box. I had ordered it through Walmart, but um, NECA sells on Walmart, and I was very disappointed because it came from NECA. And it was it was not packed well, so I contacted them, and they said that they would send me a new box so I can take the figure out of the wrecked box and put it in this box. And I'm you know I was fine with Fair that. Fair enough. And here it yeah. is, and that is perfect. a pristine box. That is perfect. So um, I have the figure here. And fair enough. I mean, you know, they, they made an effort to correct it, so. Yeah, and it's just the box that was messed up. The figure wasn't. Yeah, the figure's um, fine. But, but I was very see, shocked at how they packed it. Um, as you can see, it is is very, very right. badly damaged all the way around. Mm -hmm. And NECA being a company that um, specializes in collectibles, I would have thought they would have did a better packing job but yeah. you know that's here nor there so. so we will redress michelangelo and then show you how it looks here real quick just jumping back back into this actually because here we've gone ahead and pulled michelangelo out and this is how he looks mm -hmm. inside look at the detail in his eyes yeah inside this box and if you look all of his accessories yeah on the side and it's sealed, sealed in there on there so if you open this you're opening it for good yes yeah, no putting it back fortunately this is an interior box mm -hmm. so we can just go ahead and slide this inside the other one you see there's a silica pack on the bottom of this too yeah and that's what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and slide it put mikey into his new home yeah, lift it up a little bit on this side. Okay. That's the nice. upper edge. Yeah, it's tight. And here he comes. Okay. 
you want to finish that? You got it? Yeah. All right. And that's that. So yeah, and there he, he goes. Has there a is our new brand new box. Perfect condition Mikey in the box. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little cloudy. Yeah. It looks huh. like, but oh, whatever. It's all right. Yeah. Or it could have a film in it. Yeah, that we just didn't yeah, pay that we just attention didn't see, to. But we'll we'll take a look at that. But there we go. So that's how NECA fixes the problem. Yeah, they send you another box. Send you another box, but that's all right. It's yeah. like whatever works. Yeah. Box says Funko on it, so it's got to be yours. Yeah. Actually, it says Funko Georgie with boat mm -hmm. with a chase, six yep. pieces per case. Mm -hmm. So I guess for every box of six, there was a chase in there. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. No, I mean that's when it's a uh, when it's a case from Funko. That's how they do it. Yeah. It says right on there. But how many things do they say that's not the case? Huh. Yeah. People still buy them. Yep. And it is Georgie. It's With Chase. Two Georgies. Yeah. Going one is the Chase and one is, um, of course, not the Chase. The condom. It's not in a pop protector, but it no. is wrapped well enough. Yeah, they did a good job. Mm -hmm. Just watch out the tape and grab something. Yeah. Let me get that knife. Sure. I've got the chase. Yeah. Which was a bold move because, as you can see, he's got a severed arm. <laughs> and the arm is a separate piece. And it's, it's And it's laying in a pool of blood. See it? Yeah. In there? And then also, I think so it's the FYE Georgie. exclusive or the Amazon exclusive. Pennywise has the arm. Yes. I've seen that one. Mm -hmm. And this is the common just and him with the And his face boat. is pale on this one. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I am collecting the... Uh, it. The It set. Because you're getting out of Funko any second. Yeah. That's what you keep telling me. I am. But they, <laughs> they put out a recent order, but now... Um, they got this new wave of masses of universe. I know. It's they keep dragging something. in. Um, a couple more here. Just never seems to be any end to it. And this box is wet. Yeah, it's raining outside. Yeah. Postman dropped it off. The box, it's like soggy. Look at that. This is falling apart. Hopefully it hasn't, uh, This hopefully this has been packed correctly so that it doesn't interfere with whatever's in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh my. Oh, your brave star. Yep. More from the classic. I'm trying to get this off without interfering with these things because of the way it's set up. I don't want these cards to bend at all. You can pull that. Thank you. And that is the Scuzz and Fuzz. Deputy Fuzz and Outlaw Scuzz. It looks good. It's unpunched. It looks brand new. Like they just came out the factory. Yeah, there's a little bit little of little going on right here. Or is that the paint from the... That's the that's a misprinting. Landscaping. That's misprint mm -hmm. on the factory. This is a little bit of a dent here. In here. Yeah, this got dented. And someone wrote on this one. Yeah. I guess they wrote a price on there. four ninety eight, And... Man, that's not bad. You can get that off. That can come off. And I've done a video on that before, the removal of that kind of thing from these packages. But these okay. are sealed. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's a little dent there. Mm -hmm. can't see it. In the, mm -hmm. Yeah, right through the back. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It's though. not bad. These are very difficult to find still sealed, these two yeah, sets. It's 30 years old. Yeah. So, these sets right. are very hard to find sealed up. So mm -hmm. I'm not... Uh, I'm not so displeased with these. Yep, and it's not for me, so you can't say it's mine. Nope. But there we go. Mm -hmm. And they're not soaking wet. Thank no. goodness. Yeah. Praise God. And I'll put a link to that video down below if you haven't seen it. Because I know a lot of people have been asking about that recently with the removal of Magic Marker because of Toys R Us. 
putting a magic marker black line through all of their barcodes now that their sales are going. That's a huge box. That is a big box. Doesn't belong to me. Oh, yeah? So you can't say that. It's soaking wet. Yeah. This one is also very, very wet because it started really pouring when the postman delivered it. And we got some other stuff too, but I wanted to get these open right away because he just left. Gosh, if I can get it open. Oh my God. What is that? Oh, you got an inhumanoid. That's a big one. It came out. Oh, the head busted off. It doesn't have a protective fell. glass. No, the head the head came loose. The head is held on with clips. That's why. He's dead. So it came oh, loose. Oh, some stuff broke. Oh, no. Some pieces broke. It's a piece of the interior That's clip. That's a bug. Just hold on to that piece there. See, this fell yes. broke off. I was moving the stuff around. I heard some rattling, Move so I checked to see what it was. Away. Hold on, I want to make sure it's nothing else. Okay. Okay, it's nothing else. This is this is Metlar from the Inhumanoids. It didn't come with a window. Oh. These did not have a window. You can reach right into the package on these deluxe sized characters and they are very very difficult to find in a box that isn't just smashed to bits yeah well hopefully you can glue this back on yeah or i can find a loose metlar and put him in here mm -hmm. because his head there's and i'll show you here what happened oh this is probably the clip for his head see, it is it's a clip see this clip is for his head oh you can glue that back on yes sir. Yeah, it's a clip. Stick it on this, and I, that's that's very upsetting. Yeah, that is. That's very upsetting because to this, these are the um, the deluxe like sixteen inch characters from Inhumanoids are like Grail items. There's only three of them, and here's the box art on the back. Oh, that's nice. They only made three figures in this size, and they are extremely difficult to find. You see, it has a bio card down here too. Mm -hmm. And this was made by Mattel. I'm sorry, yeah, Hasbro. Hasbro. It was made by Hasbro in like 1986, I think. Was it 1986? Tip it over. Let's tip it. I'm tip it and his head will fall off again. Yeah, there's nothing underneath there. Oh, yeah. There's a Toys R an original Toys R Us price tag. 1986. I was right. Yep, Toys R Us. 2497, mm -hmm. which is why they didn't make too many of these cuz nobody was going to pay that much in those days yeah. for Not for a well. figure this size. Uh but yeah, any there any of the three of them is like a grail item from this series. They're very difficult to find, very expensive. You know, it's not unheard of for a really excellent condition version of this to fetch like 4 or 500. dollars mm. So, and this is just a sticker that somebody put on there. I can get that off without too much trouble. A hair dryer, hair dryer. will remove most stickers without a problem. But, no, yeah, I'm glad that you is, got that. I know you like that series. Yeah, oh, ben. I, I have almost all of, and that's this is extremely common, but usually these whole boxes, the frames are torn and crushed. There's mm -hmm. splits and rips and everything all over. So this box is really an incredible shape. Yeah, the box considering. looks Considering. And I can and work with Metlar. Old. Like I said, if push comes to shove, since this is not really sealed, mm -hmm. I can get a loose mint Metlar and swap them out. Mm. Since, his, uh, since his neck got cracked. Yeah, broken neck. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, maybe you can display one out of the box and one in the box. Yeah, I got a really, really good deal on this, too. It is good. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. And now we get this one, which is actually fan mail. Yay. We actually got fan mail, and I believe this is courtesy of Michael and Warren. So thank you, Michael and Warren. 
And At least they know how to pack. Yes. Well, they're <laughs> collectors. I would assume that they do. Mm -hmm. And this must be for A you because pop. it is the Walgreens oh. Shawn Michaels. That's a nice crisp box, too. Yes, it is. Well, thank you. Yeah. I am a big wrestling fan, the WWF type Classic wrestling. Classic WWFs. Yeah. So that was cool. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And this is. That's for you. Is it? Mm -hmm. Another pop that looks like my wife? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know who that is either. It says Super Bumblebee. Hero. Bumblebee. Are you a Queen Bee? No. No? I think you are. Mm. And what else? Oh, some other, is, a, is a letter. Some minis. Oops. Oh, I wonder if they want us and to read it, um, is read it on the air. Kirk, Robbie the Robot, and the Mars Attacks Martian like little mystery minifigures. Oh, okay. Which falls right into my sci-fi genre. Oh, so you that's, can put that with that stuff. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. These are nice. I wonder if they want us to read this on the air. Well, you can go ahead and read it. Okay. I think we can go ahead and read that. It says, Mr. Atomic Fist. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> the Atomic Fist. <laughs> and Lady Pop Hunter. <laughs> Thank you very much for all you guys do. My brother and I watch you guys all the time. I follow you on Instagram and have a blast watching your videos. Few items we traded are, um, are a few items I think you guys will enjoy. Love all the videos from Coffee Talk to pop collecting keep up the good work oh okay so they're also fans of you on coffee talk that's good so well, they cross genre well we appreciate that thank yeah. you very much mike and steve oh, thank you was, mike i thought it was it said warren on the instagram oh okay well steve okay. well mike warren and steve <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for the um for the gifts we really appreciate it i can't wait to get that Brett Michael, I mean that Shawn Michaels up. And you have another one. We get so much stuff. I know. That, my back orders are starting to come in. Yeah. So that's what that is. Finally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Been a long time. And what have you got here? Oh, the Winnie the Pooh set. Huh. So let's see who we got. We got Piglet. We need a poop. Oh, the chase. Wow. You lucked out. I did. Was that random? Yeah. Okay. Well, I got it from know? Amazon. I didn't even know it was an option. Well, that's there you go. one thing I don't have to get. Good. Yeah. Now I can. I'm sure the regular one will be a lot easier to find. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. And Tigger. And Tigger. You just got to try to find that flock tigger. That's going to be uh, tough, though. I did go by um, Barnes and Noble and uh, reserved a flock Winnie the Pooh. So I do have that coming. The flock tigger is a hot topic, I believe. Oh, okay. So I'll look in a f few days, see if uh, they ever got that in. And then that set of be complete. Oh, and then I just got to find a regular Eeyore. Okay, now this one I'm a little concerned about. Priority mailbox. Go look at that. Yeah. It's been all punched in on one side. Which this always seems to happen when it pops. Because <laughs> they have like the worst packaging anyway. It's like the post office knows. And they're like, yeah, hey, let's see if we can just smash the hell out of these. Oh, no, oh, it's tell in me. another box. Okay, that's Oh, good. wow. Okay, somebody knew what they were doing. So there's a separate box inside so that makes of it that okay. box. So, yeah, now I'm a little relieved. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll just Who go ahead and flip this. I don't know. 
Got it. That is an empty box. It's a Rick and Morty carnivorous Daniel box that is completely empty. I wonder if it was uh, just to make this a full box so it won't I shift guess around. So. But is this everything? Let me see. Yeah, five. Okay, so that's this probably is what it is. Her set of Walking Dead. There's Eugene with a jar of pickles. He should have had the little uh, thing with the trench coat with the sock coming out of his yeah, pocket. Yeah, I was going to say, cool. yeah, a trench coat with the sock puppets would have been interesting. Mm -hmm. But the pickle is a nice touch. Negan. Beardless Negan. Ezekiel. With his staff. Which looks like the top of a flagpole <laughs> in, in here. It's hard to see. Yeah. Sasha. And Richard. Yeah. So now I have the whole thing because I have the Daryl. That was FYE. And uh -huh. I have the um, Sasha, zombie Sasha. Zombie Sasha. Was that that was a Funko exclusive, yeah. That's it. All right. Well, there you go. So that whole set is complete. Yeah, I was worried. Now, hold on, because i got to catalog it. I know. I'm just setting these in the box so that you can okay. take them away safely here. Yeah. And that's a good idea that he put that in there just so it won't shift. Yeah. So that was a good idea. Interesting. Um, so anybody's got more. a carnivorous Daniel. If you need an empty <laughs> box. <laughs> There's no interior piece, though. Yeah, if you just need the empty box, let me know. I'll send it to you. <laughs> I, I swear, every package on Earth has your name. No, All I of order them. Stuff. Yeah, you say that. Well, you know, my um, pre-orders are starting to flow in. That is true. And I got a bunch of stuff on pre-order. So it is starting to come in. Oh. Oh. Yay. Look at this. So as a set. This is the Jake the Snake for my um my classic wrestler uh set. Go help? ahead, yeah, do that. Watch your finger. In a bag. Yeah, which is good. And it came from Amazon, and I'm kind of shocked because, you know, Amazon, and we've talked about it and did videos before. They do not do a good job with, um, I think this came from Amazon. Packaging. Yeah, but was it from Amazon or was it from a vendor? Probably a ven vendor. And there's the regular Jake. Yeah, and the Chase and version, the which Chase is just version. a snake is a different color. Well, his pants, too. Is it? No. Yeah, pants. one is blue and one is kind of greenish. Yeah. Yeah. So. Not very much. Kind of a lazy chase. Yeah, He's it not even is. Pictured back there. Mm -mm. Let's see, Jake the Snake Roberts. Jake the Snake Roberts. There's a classic. Yeah. And another one. Another small one. Yeah, that's a pop. It's fragile all over it. Yeah. See if they packed it like it was fragile. No. Uh, oh, but it's in a pop protector. It's in a pop protector, so. That's good. Dump yeah, it. well, no. You can get it out. Mm. There you go. Okay. Now we're going to have to pick up popcorn foam all day. <laughs> and it's the Triple H. And this is the older one, not the newer one. So I got everything. All of the old guys. I don't have that AJ Lee. She's new. And this guy, Daniel, I don't want him. But I got these <laughs> four for my classic set. And Triple H came out while I was still watching. And I'm glad that came in a pocket. Yep. I'm going to take him out and put something else better than a pop protector, though. <laughs> well, you might get a bunch of pop protectors one time. Maybe. You never know. Mm-hmm. And oh, oh, no, I don't. I was about to say, oh, I know what this is, but I don't. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to find out what it is here in a second. Yeah. Translucent. Oh. What? 
Oh, oh okay. Disney Chase, glow in the dark Hercules. Yeah, because I ordered, and I don't even know why I might end up. This is one pop set, and I've said it before. I only order stuff that I really like, but this one I'm kind of like, why did I get that? Um, but I love Disney. And I watched all the Disney cartoons. I don't really watch them anymore because um, they're more of that, uh, that CGI. CGI yeah. And I liked it when it was still. But I did see this. Um, so, so I might keep it. But this one and that Monsters, Inc. I did buy. And I'm, I'm debating. I'm like, dang, why did I get that? But, you yeah, know, whatever. So this is the Chase one. This is the regular. regular and I got a version, bundle which set. Which is identical except for it glow the other one glows. Mm -hmm. So more laziness from... Uh, yeah. And this and is the Hades. And I do have the Hot Topic version. But... Um, which I kind of don't realize what's wrong because Hot Topic got two versions. It's a Hot Topic, which is blue. And then it's a Hot Topic Chase, which is red. Yep. And I don't know what the difference is on that one. And um, so this is the Hercules set, and it looks pretty good. A uh, person took very good care of packing it. Um, it looks nice and clean, so I like that. And it was the Chase bundle. She has a mouth. That's good, cause they really do. You smell like Meg. cigarettes. Somebody yeah, it smells like uh, pipe tobacco or something. There's a weird smell on yeah. the boxes. Yeah, this one stinks. Smells like cigarettes. But you can just air it out. If you just let it sit out for a few days, it usually uh, gets rid of the smell. So I'll do a that. a reflection right now. Mm-hmm. Well, there we go. And that is it. That is it for now. Yes. We still got more coming in because, like I said, these are the pre-orders um, from, like, January. And hmm. they're just starting to flow in. And continuing on. Because there's so many boxes. <laughs> and they all say, Tornessa. Oh, look oh. at that. It's a pop. Mr. Rogers. The standard Mr. Rogers, I guess. Yeah. Cause there oh, are, that's cute. There's three of them, but... Yeah. They got him with the um the train and a, a well, blue, sh blue, shirt blue sweater, sweater with the train. And then another one, he's holding something else. Uh, He's holding the King Friday puppet. Oh, yeah, that's right. I like that. Gee, I wonder what's in here. A pop. Huh. Look popish. Oh, my care bear. That's a tight box. I yeah. hope it's okay. Yeah. This is just a regular grumpy bear. I had to reorder my whole care bear set because um the company that I originally ordered from went out of business. Yeah. 10% off your next purchase. Yep. So if you want to use this code, <laughs> here's the code if anybody wants to use it. Thanks, 10. Yep. Yep. Gee, I wonder what's in here. Mm hmm. Golly. Yeah. I'm trying not to go too deep with it because you don't wanna cut yeah, up I don't want to accidentally injure anything. Yeah, and that'll be really bad. And oh my, it's uh, oh yeah, from um, it. Yeah. They don't want to come out. There we go. Oh, is an in there and pop protectors, Beverly from it. And and the chase. 
just blood splattered, so they splattered some red well, paint. Well, if you're going to get a, yeah, basically, and her hair is red. There's blood all over it. In the scene that made no sense. Yeah. Well, but that was a pretty good movie. I was actually if, shocked. So this is the um, entire set. If the entire bathroom was coated in blood, how did she get washed up before she went back out to go get the kids to help her? Hmm. <laughs> Just asking. And, golly. I know. Trying to. My back uh, orders are starting to come move in. Move things along. I know. Like Christmas. Yeah. Oh, just throw anything in there. Any old oh, damn thing. Oh, no way. kind of protection. Nothing. Thank the Lord that it's not all torn to pieces. Oh, Golly. look at that. See that, guys? No protection. We hate that. But again, so it came weird. from Amazon, so yeah, it's she's not got shocking. It closed up. But the box is intact. Yeah. Are they scuffed up? No, no actually, surprising. But th that's why you get a P.O. box. The regular. The regular one. Because if you remember, I got the uh, the whole set, but I got the, the chase, chase in instead. there, which was shocking. Yes. But um, so I, I got the uh, just the regular one. Now that set, it's complete. But once I get the Tigger, the flock Tigger. Yeah. Golly. I know. That's, that's what happens when you get them back orders. They all come in at once. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. Mm. It's a surprise for me. Oh, gosh. Well, it would be nice. <laughs> yeah, you ain't getting well, no surprise. Oh, yeah. And, oh, well. Yeah, Amazon again. Yeah. But it's not damaged, thank the Lord. I had got a deal on that. That's the movie moment. Yeah, tell and, me about that. Um, Amazon had like a two-day sale, and this was 10 bucks. Yep. Cause and I got the Aladdin shipped. set. Yeah, I got the um Aladdin set, and this was um, well they just had that movie moment thing, and um Amazon had it on sale for like two three days for ten bucks, and you know pops this size usually go for like thirty five dollars those twenty five thirty five twenty five thirty five dollars yeah. for movie moments. Wow, now that is a good. See the teeth, the how they put a lot into the genie. The genie, that that's well done. The pops don't do that well. Funko doesn't do a good job on stuff, but they did on this one. Yeah. So I am very pleased with that. Now I'm recording. Why do you always record that? We're just doing a photo op. Oh. Who doesn't who doesn't get on a fish that's wearing a saddle? Plenty people. I could be Aquaman. 